Welcome to a very special course log. You've joined us here at TPC Sawgrass. Yes, and this is a really exciting one. We've played 15 holes, but we're bringing to you the last three holes, 16, the famous 17th and 18th. Probably the hardest three finishing holes, maybe in golf. They so look hard to me. let's see if we can take charge of our games. Enjoy. Okay, Andy, off these four tees, we've got the 16th playing just over, sorry, yeah, about 500 yards. Let's have a look, see what we've got here. We don't really need to show this, do we? Because so many people have seen it on TV. Dog legs slightly, feeds round to the left, par five, water down the right. So we've had a great game so far. Yes, we've we played. you the last three holes. So very excited to show you these last finishing holes. Hopefully we get some good scores on them as well. All right then, let's pull the trigger. You gonna hug the trees? Yeah, I'm gonna hook. I'm just gonna go at the. Uh, yeah, just hook the left side of those trees. All right. Play well. We're well, not gonna get any better than that. That is nailed. Nailed. Nice. It's a beautiful day here as well. At TPC Sawgrass. Very lucky to be here playing this golf course and uh, what a golf course it's been so far. Fantastic. Follow that one, Pierce. Well, that one, that was good. That was good. Well, I just birdied the last one off the camera, hit the flag, I think, so. Another one would be nice. A bit toe a bit down the right. I think it's safe over there though. Okay, so Piers has got a tricky shot here. He's just going to play back out into play. Give himself a chance to open up the green. Tricky shot left. Yeah, good back in well, well done back in play yeah. there, mate. Okay, Andy, 191 to the flag. Flag is tight, front five iron. and left, five iron. I'm going at those trees, so just stay safe. Good tee shot. Okay, that. Oh, it's just leaking out right. Go on, be the club. Yeah, nice little nudge off the back there. Eagle putt. Close, that is. Come Eagle putt. Ooh. Tap, baby. Can you hear the crowd? Okay, so I'm in close there, Pierce. You got. Oh, that's a good shot, that is. Really impressed good. myself there. 148, 8 iron. Come on, let's get inside mine. Slightly into the breeze. God damn it. Okay, it's going left. And thinned it. Just dropped down, just caught the edge of that tree. Uh oh. Unlucky. Okay, what do we got, Pierce? 48 yards, hit the tree and it's come all the way back. But could have been in the bunker, so it could have been worse. Got to go underneath though, so I need a low one okay, here. Okay, a low puncher under the tree here. All right, got it. Played it perfect. Perfect. Beautiful shot. Take that, take that one. Pretty good. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, great Thank shot. Thank you, Scott. About, a, uh, yes, sir. about an 18 footer here for ball. Eagle, which is some yeah. shot. Wow. Bit of banter going on between the guys and the caddy, Scott. Been a great day so far. Lovely putt there. Alright, right, he's getting a read from the caddy. Yeah. Look at the water there. 17th we have. Over there. Alright then, for Eagle. First eagle of the day this morning. It's been the first eagle of the day. We had a couple of birdies, but no eagles. Got something on your line there, yeah? I'm fine, yeah. You're right with that? Yeah, All right, he's got the read off Scott. Scott is Billy Mayfair's caddy. Just waiting to get on a seniors tour. Blast from the past. Here we go. Oh, he's going to tap it down for him. Here we go. 
<laughs> oh. Boy, a big clumper. Oh. Yeah, thank you. That's going to be worth a penalty shot. <laughs> nope, this deserves it for the Eagle. Come on. Great tee shot. Really good fire by him. Oh, he's just pushed it out. Graying got it. We'll give you that one though. That's fine for the birdie. Very good. Very good. Come on then, Pierce. Par put here. We rolled a few good ones into that actually. So these greens are just perfect. So this is going to be pretty straight. I think this one. And these greens are quite grainy today. So we've had some good reads off Scott, and uh, he's really helped us out. It's quite deceptive when you're looking at these greens. Straight and firm. Oh, just turn at the oh, end, unlucky. Right, right. Unlucky. Yeah. Yeah. Take that one away, Pierce. That's a bogey. It goes from there, but once you get a couple feet down to here, it's not As you can see, guys, they're putting the stands up already. It's January, and they're putting the stands up, so... They're a bit um, late for us, aren't they? A bit late, yeah. How <laughs> much preparation goes into the Players' Championship. Yeah, unbelievable event. Unbelievable event. If you get a chance to come and watch it, watch it. If you get a chance to play here, play here. Very lucky we are. One of my favourite holes in golf. Take a look at this, the 17th at Sawgrass. Can we believe can you believe we're standing on the tee? I do not believe we are here. We've got 135 to the flag. The flag is dead centre. No wind at all really. We've got a beautiful day. I'm gonna go with nine iron. Okay, nine iron. Yeah, slightly off the right, the breeze. Nine iron's a pretty good club, right in the smooth middle of the green. One, this is just a smooth one. I think it is a smooth one, yep. Yeah. This is what we've been kind of waiting for. Oh, it's going to sit down. Sit. Sit. I oh, think it might be on the path of the back <laughs> of the, the bridge. There. There's a bridge down there and a path. So I'm dry, but we're going to have an interesting shot to the flag. Well, we're dry at the moment, we think. That's got to be a wedge. Okay, Pierce, I've helped you out there with the club selection. Yeah, I think you have a little bit there. It's got to be the wedge. It's definitely a wedge. Game golf it. All right. So okay, this is beautiful. Left, isn't it? Again, Alex was saying this morning, if the wind comes up, it can obviously swirl and kill it. This is where your routine, guys, has to be stick the same. Okay. Played it nice, just off the right, drawing back in. See if we can get a close up of that. Oh, Front of the back. green. Okay, good shot. Yeah, safe pitch. <laughs> good shot. Seen so many guys spin it back in from there. Right at it. We're both dry. Just a little short. I on? think so, yeah, I think so. I like that. So it looks like, just in case yours has gone too big, we're not sure yet. We haven't, provisional. Got, the, we haven't got the crowd here to tell us. Get another go at it. So it is a provisional, yeah, yes, another go at it. I wanted to do that. So he's playing the provisional just in case the other one has gone into the water. That's on the back edge, that's a good shot. Was that the same club? That was a wedge. That was a wedge and a hitting wedge it hard, one, yeah. So yeah, probably was the right club, wasn't yeah, it, looking definitely. at that? But nine, yeah, nine, just... what a beautiful setting. 16 over there, we've just played. We're Andy nearly eagled. And then here we are on 17. Right. Oh, mine's on the path. Okay, Andy, so that's an interesting place. Yes, Managed to stay no, dry. I dry, didn't I? I've just got these sleepers in the way. A little bit of a... You can have a little look up there. So, obviously, <laughs> <laughs> this is how tight it is, guys. This is the only bit of walkway, obviously, going onto the green. So, it actually is quite small as well, especially when the wind starts gusting. Run away from him. Tough shot. Played it good. It's going to grip as well off that mat, I'd have thought. Oh, it's just downhill oh, from there. Run on. You know what? That's really good from there, to be honest. Play, yeah. And to be honest, if you if you go right of that, oh, steady, stop. 
stop just shows you the slope on this green this is where mine came back down and his ball still moving all right so there's me front flag obviously here okay so Pierce has got a an uphill putt you can see he's just on the fringe there uphill putt maybe a little bit off the right two putts would be good from here I'm sure he'll be happy walking off here with a three certainly a lot of great memories on this green from good putts hold he had the line there as well just needed the pace great three though Pierce there you'll take that you'd have took that on the tee wouldn't you I'd take that on the tee is that okay Yes. Yeah. Thank you. He wants to give me as well. He wants to give me. Okay, Andy. Very good shot from there, Andy. Just ran down off the side of that bunker. Kind of slowed it down a bit. You're okay there, Bill. Carry on. So that was pretty impressive. Just to get it, keep it dry. So we'll learn a little bit from mine. Let's see uphill. It's going to move a little bit right to left. And the grain plays a part in this. I actually learned how to do that today from Scott the caddy. That's the break. Oh, yeah, good effort. All right. Yeah, it would have been a great par. We'll take that, Andy. Take that away. Thank you. Well done. Got to hold it. He wants to hold it. Right. It's a three. A four, even. Four. <laughs> four. Three. A three. You said three. three. I said three. three. Too late. Too late now. Three. Andy, what a hole. So take a look at this for a finishing hole, then, guys. You got the clubhouse in the in the distance. Water up the left. The caddy just said target line is don't go left. <laughs> uh, so we've been told to go over the sort of Literally right over the corner of that water, just there. See if we can give you just a little close up. Alright, let's do it. Whoa! He's gone for the tiger line, he's only nailed it. Straight at the three trees in the distance. Yes! Yeah, great shot. It's a little tight. It's a little tight, but it's a great golf it's shot. About a yard is. from the water, but it was a good hit, which made the carry. It was so. a good hit. You nailed that one, well then. Good All line. Right. I'm not going to go quite. <laughs> <far left. laughs> Do you know what? If I had another go, I wouldn't go that far left either. Pretty good. Pretty good hole to finish with. You won't see on this camera, but that was all right. You made this short though, Pierce. Now you made it short. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Yeah, perfect. That's pretty much where Scott said. Definitely more. Yeah, really good yeah, shot. Well done. The right there. That's the way to play it, Andy. I think my... Just so easy. What, what water? What water? <laughs> Peter Alice moment. It is, yeah. He'd say something a lot funnier than what we could say. All right, back to the golf. Okay. So what you got, Andy? Sorry? I've got a wedge, 136. Okay, wedge 136. It's gone. <laughs> Nature show as well today. So 136. Flag tight Can left. Play the distance. It feels a bit shorter today. This. Um, I think you got a little help. I'd say probably 130, 132. Here we go. Right out about 10, 12 yards right of that flag. It will come down. Here we go from the caddy from Scott Billy Mayfair's caddy. Lay it out 10 yards right of the flag. It will work down. 130 pitching wedge. It's just a bit too far right, good strike. But it's yeah, maybe just on the front edge. Always spinning back a little bit. We'll see when we get there. Club all day, buddy. Really? Yeah, that was a right club all day. Just need a little bit more left. Need to right turn it over a bit more. There nice strike. Go. Good club. Great drive there, Pierce. Thank you, Andy. 121 left. Look at that flag today. Got to go for it, haven't I? One flag behind. is tight left. Literally got to hit it 10, maybe 10, 12 yards right of that hole. Yeah, I think that's the same. And let it. it come back. So, gap wedge. Gap wedge. Okay. Got it. Oh, thinned it. Okay, it's, it's gonna hit. Oh, it's hit the green. Oh dear. Just gone through the back. I'm trying to whack it and I've sent it up knifing it through the back of the green. Not the best way to do it there. Good course management. Maybe a bit pumped up, maybe. 
Yeah, that's not good. Up and down from there, no problem. I can up and down that, no problem. So there we go, so there's a look back down 18. You can see you put the fairway there, it sort of curves round. It's quite tight actually, so very intimidating from the tee. The and then you can see now here, look at that flag today, they've really put that on a on a tricky one today. Pull it in with the water. Grandstands are going up as we uh, can see here. And Pierce. And Pierce just on that one, just caught that little clean, he's gone through the back, he's got a tricky He's got a downhill chip, but the good news is he's got plenty of green to work with and it all runs down. So he's just got to really get this moving on the top of the green and let it feed down, look. And then it sort of gets down to here where Pete's ball is and then it's all downhill. Should be pretty fast from there, so hasn't really got to give this too much. Okay, let's see what he see what he does. Used to be leaning all his weight on his lead leg on this. He's played it nice, really good. He's got it rolling. Is it enough? Is it enough? Yes, it's going to be enough. No, 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 no. And that was going to be probably a career shot there. <laughs> <laughs> and the ball's hit the other ball. <laughs> Pierce, that. Oh, I can't believe it. That was going in, Pierce. That was going to be real good. That was going in. Should have asked for the mark. I was walking here to mark. <laughs> Sorry, Pete. <laughs> and you didn't stop. Which one are you? Is that you there, yeah? This is where I was. This when is you, you there, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pierce, that was, that was a great nice shot, nice. by the way. Oh, well, never mind. So that's where mine had finished, if I hadn't heard that. Okay, if the moral of the story is there, anybody who's watching this, um, if you think that you won't hit the ball that is lying out in front of you, then you may well just do that. So always get it marked, please. Never mind, my fault. Okay, Andy's got this for a... It's a tough shot. I mean, Andy almost pitched it on the green. It's spun back. Crikey. 15 feet. Must have been going down the grain because this Bermuda grass is really thick. If it's not down grain, it wouldn't have spun back like that. Maybe it shots into the greens today, going in real low, and they've checked up really well into the green and ran on away from it. Okay, we've seen this put many a time. We just hit it through the break there. Oh, that's a shame. Very tough. This is only our sort of second game here, and we're not quite used to these Bermuda grass yet. But just sort of hit it through there, Andy. Unlucky. Yeah, I just thought it might slow down a bit. Yeah, I thought so. Stuff. I thought so. Just uh, step back, step back yeah, a bit. Okay. okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've got my chance. <laughs> okay, no golf balls in the way on this one, Pierce. You got, you got a chance to roll this in. How much, Scott? Do you think? Probably about a foot. Okay. Three cups. Okay, so it's a foot from the left, moving towards the water, so it's going to be quite quick as well, this one. Pretty quick or not? Uh, not really. It's downhill, but it's not really that bad. Okay. This will be a very interesting par if he gets this. Take a look at the clubhouse in the background, guys. Pretty impressive. Okay, looks good, looks good. Oh, you can see how much that just turned off at the end there. Yeah, yeah pretty good put there. Yeah, pretty good. Ooh. Just tap that in, Andy. Tap it in, yeah, if you want to. I get that out of my, get myself out of my misery. That's a shame. On, After then. that drive as well. Yeah, absolutely. Never mind. Well done. Well, well done. It's not a bad backdrop, by the way. Off the left as well, yeah, Scott. Yep. Just outside, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I think Andy said yep, there. If it wasn't for Scott, okay. we really would have struggled today with the greens, the grain. We know how to read the grain now. So look at the hole. If there's rough at the hole, whichever side the rough part of the the cut is of the hole, that's the way the grain's going. Oh, I thought he got it. Just needed the speed. The crowd. Five. Everybody applause. Everybody applause. Disappointing five, but Bill, that was fantastic. Appreciate Pleasure. it. Really Pleasure. nice meeting Pleasure. you. Thank you, Pete. Yeah, really great. enjoyed that. Enjoyed really good meeting, good meeting you. Great show. Really good meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoyed your company. No, you, you know what? Thank you, enjoyed Scott company. Caddy. Well done. It, buddy. Very good. Well done, Bill. partner. Yes, well played. Enjoyed that. Well done. Good game. Okay, so hope you enjoyed that little sort of glimpse there. Last three holes at Sawgrass. 
Um, finish, tough finish that what was. What a tough finish, yeah, it was it a tough was. finish for us there. It's a, a, an amazing golf course, probably my favourite, I think. I think so, yeah, looking definitely. At that, I mean, played some really good golf courses, and that's definitely ranks. Every I mean, hole was so different. Look at the view. Look at the view there. I mean, this you can see why they have great tournaments here. It's, it is built for tournaments. There's more water obviously. than grass there. Literally. <laughs> literally. So, you know what, yeah, I mean, look, um, I hope you enjoyed that, as we said. We've got a few people to thank as well. You know, we've got to thank um, you guys for watching, because if you didn't watch and interact with us, and yes, we wouldn't be able to do you. this, so thank you for that. Uh, the Whistle for getting us out here, our management group, our MCN. We've got PGA Tour, okay, who are liaising with The Whistle. So PGA Tour, obviously their HQ is here. Yeah. So really, you know, you've actually given us more than we could ever have dreamed, really, on coming here. So it's uh, just been a fantastic experience. And Bill and Pete are great Bill playing partners. We actually thought we were going to play on our own today. Yeah. And you know, we're so happy that we actually got paired up with those yeah. two great guys and two good golfers. Unbelievable. So they Unbelievable. had some better shots than us out there today. Scott well. the caddy as well. I now know how to read grain on the greens, so no excuses now for the rest of the week. Exactly. So uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. And we're going to actually go in the clubhouse now and do a little bit of bonus footage. So oh, make yeah. sure you stay with us with that. Don't go away. And yeah, we're going to show you something a bit different in there. It's a bit special. Cheers, guys. Okay, so in true players' championship style, we have the barber chair now. Actually, the barber chair is where the other players would stick someone who's had a bad round. They would actually sit in this chair and they would be going to get a haircut. You thought you were going to get your haircut in, did No, and you, <laughs> so what actually happens is they get grilled by the other players. But Andy, you played pretty good. But what hmm. were you doing on 17? No, so we actually thought we'd flip it around a little bit. So not quite in true tradition. Not not going to grill Andy about it. But I'm going to say to Andy, what was your best shot today? So Ooh, your, okay. your aim. Yeah, you hit a few good ones to be played well. So what was your good, best? Good okay, so I would say the, probably the best shot, the couple that stand out to me on the last part of the round was uh, 17. No, not 17, I'll say that again. 16. So par 5. Um, it was a tough tee shot. You, I wanted to sort of hug the trees on the left and I hit it dead straight right at the middle and it really it really got got down there. Okay. And it set really, me up really for, good. for hitting that good five iron. So the five iron was a good shot, but um, that driver sort of put me in position. So you're, you're having two shots then? I like it. That's oh, yeah, I'll go to right. You know what? Remember the good ones, I always say. Talk remember about the good the, ones. Forget the about those bad ones. Remember the good ones. That set up the birdie as well, didn't it? It did, it set up the birdie. Really yeah. nice. It was nice to get a birdie on uh, Especially with those, those last three holes coming up as well. Yes. 17 and 18. So just actually, whilst we're here, let's talk about 17 and 18. What do you think about 17? What were your thoughts on the tee? So I was nervous on the tee, I was thinking, you know, for, to be on there, you think, well, actually, it's only 150 yards, it was actually only 135 today, so it's like wedge, nine iron, and it's, I think, because of that water, if there was no water there, you wouldn't think about it, so it just shows that, actually, the majority of that is all mental, so the tips that Alex gave us earlier in the round, sticking to your pre-shot routine, making sure you, you do exactly what you normally do, and just letting it happen, really. Um, tough to actually do, um, <laughs> but it's great advice. It's great advice to do. So, I mean, I was happy that I actually hit some part of the green. I didn't get it on the green, but <laughs> yes. it ended down there, obviously, down the back. Yeah, it's a bit. But, yeah, it's a good hole to play. Yeah, it's a pretty good shot, wasn't it? I mean, I suppose from there, you know, when you imagine what it's like when you've got the whole stadium around and you've got players, you know, all the fans watching, ooing and ahhing when you're hitting these shots. I'd have been a little bit more nervous then. I'd have been a bit more nervous, yeah. Absolutely. Just a little bit. Absolutely. All right then, Andy. Get out the chair, my turn. Okay. Okay, Piers, so hopefully you enjoyed the round there. What have you got to say about the course? Good golf course? Yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. Pretty good, okay. So you hit a smasher up the 18th. You hit a boom of a drive. <laughs> Took that sort of corner straight on there. Mm. Just talk about that second shot that you <laughs> Well, I wanted to hit it low because a bit of breeze was coming up there, and then I think a fly came in and the ball moved. All right. And uh, I did well to hit it, but it actually just went a bit too far. A little bit. What did you hit there? Was it a wedge? Uh, a gap wedge that went about. Gap wedge that went about 300 yards. <laughs> 300 yard gap wedge. Okay, so let's talk about the best shot of the day for you that you played. Um, the best the shot for play. me today. Oh, crikey. You know what? Hitting 17 was nice. Obviously, so I'm having two as well. Hitting 17 was good. Um, <coughs> excuse me, two putting, obviously, really nice. But I would say best shot was the bunker shot I played. I think it was about the 12th and par five. So I I'm not I'm picking some more good shots here. So it's a pretty good t-shirt. Right? Well, you know, the second shot, but then I've got a, a real tight pin with a bunker shot. So I played it quite nicely. Got a bit of underneath there, yeah, really good. Did he hit the flag or just? Did no, then that was actually a couple of holes later. Actually, oh, okay. the flag was six iron. So I could have been your best shot, actually. Yeah. <laughs> considering, considering I don't, probably didn't play my best today. I actually, hit a lot of good shots. Actually, but. I'm going to take a little bit of credit for his bunkers play as well, but because just give me, give me a bit of a lesson of the day. But it was an amazing shot. It was smoother. Good. I put it down to my coach. Yes, put it down. I put it all down to my coach. It was you. Absolutely made that shot possible. So. 
Guys, hope you enjoyed the little post round interview there. Make sure you check out the course vlog and make sure you check out Sawgrass. Thanks to PJ Talk for getting us in here because not many people are allowed in the enormous. So exactly. Uh, very privileged. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. There you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Big thank you to TPC Sawgrass for putting us up. Um, really good at the Mandy. What an amazing it? course. Wow, you have to go and play this golf course. It's, um, it's unbelievable. And also, guys, post your comments down below. What was your favourite shot from the two of us over those last three holes? Yes, definitely. If you don't already, guys, subscribe to the channel, click the link below. And tomorrow we have a beauty of a video. We've got skills and drills, and it's on the 17th, nearest the pin here at Sawgrass. Probably the most famous hole in golf. I think I was Maybe. very nervous. I was very, very nervous doing so Make do sure not you miss watch it, guys. It.